Who want one last trip to the long trail? There's a few questions when you talk about Tekken that no one has a answer for. And I kind of just came up with a theory right now about the Kazama bloodline, the Kazama power. We know they have some kind of healing or canceling out ability, but also too, one of the biggest mysteries is how Jun Kazama became unknown. And yes, this is not canon, but I have a theory that one could make it canon and two can work perfectly into Tekken 8 and also explain where she's been all this time. Here's my theory. In Tech Attack Tournament 2, we are shown in the boss fight. First, you fight Jun Kazama. Then when you defeat her, she transform and become unknown. Now, this is kind of backwards. You think unknown would be the boss that you fight, but then when you defeat her, then she transforms back into Jun Kazama. And that's kind of what happens. Once she transforms into unknown, she de-transforms back into Jun Kazama. But you wonder why she transforms into unknown in the first place. My theory is, and this is uh, what I think Tekken 8 probably could explain. In Tekken Bloodline, right here in this moment, Jun Kazama knows that she cannot stop Ogre. You know, she has to basically sacrifice herself. She holds him to the ground, wrapped around his arm. Here, she basically is like, okay, this is where I die, but at least I'll take Ogre. This propane right here, you see that gas leak? It explodes, boom, blows up. But one thing that's really, really important, and everyone kind of noticed this already, but this factors into my theory. So right here, Ogre realizes what is happening. And Ogre, by the way, he's very smart. Ogre is not some mindless beast. This guy is, is very smart. He realizes what's happening and he tries to teleport. You see that? He teleports out. But notice, Jun Kazama's knee is right here. He also brings her with him. See that? She goes with him. And if you look at this screen right here, this is actually Zam teleporting up to the sky. The camera is facing at the sky right now. Ogre sees he's about to die and he transports himself to this place. Maybe this is his home. Maybe this is, I don't know where the devil gene originates. Who knows? But he transport himself here and Jun Kazama follows because she is on his arm. The fight between those two continue. Let's say Ogre ends up winning the fight. He wins the fight, but Jun Kazama goes down in this position right here, and then all this purple goop start to spread out. Ogre's looking like, wait, what's happening? She transforms into unknown, and this is when round two happened. This is when the real fight starts. Now, how powerful you wanna say Jun Kazama is lore-wise is we don't know, but unknown, just considering how she was able to corrupt this whole like area, she's probably one of the most powerful characters in all of Tekken. So my theory is she, in this unknown form, fights off Ogre. Maybe Ogre just stays away from her. She doesn't kill him because he shows up again and Jin is the one who kills him. Once she defeats Ogre, she de-transforms back into Jun Kazama. Angel can also stop by to help out like we're shown in her ending in Tekken Tag Tournament 2. But then the question is, or the problem is, she is still stuck in this unknown realm. Now, all this time has passed between Tekken 3 and Tekken 8. One, she's trying to figure a way out. But two, if we look at her ending, which some people call the true ending, you can see that the place looked extremely different. There's a bunch of spirit animals, there's like a big forest. It really doesn't even look like the same location. So I'm thinking, since she was trapped in this realm with nowhere to go, she's been mastering her Kazama power, mastering the art of energy. If we pay attention to what she's doing, she's summoning a bunch of life from all around this place. Kind of like Goku, share your energy with me. And what does she do? She condenses all that energy into like a ball. She fires it up at the sky and it kind of creates like this explosion, like it's casting stars into the sky. My theory is this is her trying to break free. The same way Ogre shot his energy up into the sky and transported to the place, she's trying to do the opposite and transport out. 
That is me putting the pieces together from Tekken Bloodline, Tekken Tag Tournament 2, and just looking at Tekken 8 as a whole. There's also a theory that I have where I think this wolf character and Jun Kazama is also working together. We kind of see it as like her being puppeted by him, but, but I'll create another video about that because that's a whole nother theory and Claudio's involved and sorcery. So that video will come in a couple of days, but this is my theory about unknown right now. Hit that subscribe button, stay tuned because I'm going to explain this wolf. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching and bye bye.